Our topic here is on ellipse. At the end of the lesson, you will be able to define ellipse and determine the equation of an ellipse. Let's have the definition of ellipse. It says here that an ellipse is a set of all points P whose distances from two fixed points F sub 1 and F sub 2 add up to a certain constant. A video clip will clearly illustrate the definition of ellipse. First, we need two points called the foci. Let's connect a string, and when we extend the string around the foci, we create an ellipse. The length of the string does not change. In other words, it is constant. We need to be mindful of the terminologies and properties of ellipse. The terms are foci, major axis, minor axis, center, vertices, and co-vertices. The foci are denoted by F sub 1 and F sub 2. These are along the major axis. The vertices are the endpoints of a major axis. The midpoint between the vertices is the center of the ellipse. A line perpendicular bisector to the major axis which passes through the center is the minor axis. The co-vertices are the endpoints of the minor axis. The distance from the center to a focus is denoted by C. The distance from the center to a vertex is denoted by A. The distance from the center to a co-vertex is denoted by B. Another video clip will be presented here to clearly illustrate the properties of an ellipse. When we extend the string horizontally, it is the longest diameter of the ellipse called the major axis and the shortest diameter of the ellipse is called the minor axis. Let's call half the length of the major axis A, half the length of the minor axis B, and the distance from the center to one of the foci is C. Since half the length of the major axis is A, then the whole length is actually 2A. When we extend the string evenly at the top, we want to form a triangle with sides A, B, and C. By the Pythagorean theorem, these sides have the relationship of b squared plus c squared is equal to a squared, and moving c squared to the other side gives us that b squared is equal to a squared minus c squared. Let's have the equation of an ellipse. There are two standard forms of the equation of an ellipse, with center at 0, 0. First, we have x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals 1. And the other is x squared over b squared plus y squared over a squared equals 1. To easily recognize which of the equation will be used, let us take the values of a squared and b squared. The standard equation of an ellipse have denominators a squared and b squared. And a squared is always greater than b squared. If a squared is a denominator of x squared, then the major axis is on the x-axis. The major axis is horizontal line with equation y equals 0. And the minor axis is vertical line with equation x equals 0. If a squared is a denominator of y squared, then the major axis is on the y-axis. The major axis is vertical line with the equation x equals 0. And the minor axis is a horizontal line with equation y equals 0. The standard form of the equation of an ellipse with center at its k are given in the forms the square of the quantity x minus h over a squared plus the square of the quantity y minus k over b squared equals 1. And the other is the square of the quantity x minus h over b squared plus the square of the quantity y minus k over a squared equals 1. Still, we will be using the values of a squared and b squared to determine which equation will be used and how the ellipse will be illustrated. Let us take some example. Example number 1. x squared over 25 plus y squared over 9 equals 1. This is an ellipse with center at 0, 0. 
the equation can be transformed with denominators 5 squared and 3 squared. Going back to the given equation, since 25 is greater than 9 and 25 is a denominator of x squared, then we can conclude that its major axis is horizontal and the standard form that we will be using will be x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals 1. Take note that the value of a is the distance from the center to a vertex. The value of b is the distance from the center to a co-vertex. We already have the value of a, which is 5, and the value of b, which is 3. Looking at the figure now, we can have the distance from the center to a vertex is 5 units, and the distance from the center to a co-vertex is 3 units. Let's look at what would be the distance from vertex to a focus. Using the equation c squared equals a squared minus b squared, c squared is equal to 16, and that c is equal to 4, and that the distance from the center to a focus is 4 units. Example number 2. The square of the quantity x plus 3 over 24 plus the square of the quantity y minus 5 over 49 equals 1. The given equation is an ellipse with center at x k. Observe the denominators. 49 is greater than 24, and 49 is a denominator of a quantity with variable y. Then the major axis is a vertical line, and the ellipse is a vertical ellipse. That is, its graph is sketched vertically. The center is negative 3, positive 5. From the given equation, we can have the values of A and B. The value of A is 7, and the value of B is 2 squared of 6, or it could be approximately 4.9. We need to solve the value of C using the property of a, b, and c, that is through the equation c squared equals a squared minus b squared. Substituting the values of a and b and manipulating the mathematical operations, then we have c is equal to 5. We will use the values of a, b, and c to sketch the graph of the ellipse from the center to the focus is 5 units, the distance from the center to a vertex is 7 units, and the distance from the center to a co-vertex is 4.9, which is almost 5 units. Example number 3. Find the equation in standard form of the ellipse whose foci are f sub 1 with coordinates negative 8, 0 and f sub 2 with coordinates positive 8 0 such that for any point on it the sum of its distances from the foci is 20. It is helpful to have a rough illustration to determine which standard form will be used. The foci are along the x-axis. The midpoint between the foci is the origin of the Cartesian plane at 0, 0. So the value of C is 8. And the standard form of the equation of the ellipse for this problem is x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals 1. For any point on the ellipse, the sum of its distances from the foci is 20. d sub 1 plus d sub 2 equals 20, which is also equal to 2a. To simplify further, we will have a equals 10. The standard form needs the value of a squared and b squared. Using the equation b squared equals a squared minus c squared, b squared equals 36. Hence, the equation of the ellipse is x squared over 100 plus y squared over 36 equals 1. Example number 4. Find the equation in standard form of the ellipse whose major axis has length 22 units. Foci is 9 units above and below the center 2, 4. Let us consider the given conditions. 
The major axis has length 22 units. Foci is 9 units above and below the center 24. With this, we plot first the center 24 and approximately plot the foci on the major axis which is a vertical line. From these conditions, we can determine the standard form of the equation of the ellipse that will be the square of the quantity x minus h over b squared plus the square of the quantity y minus k over a squared equals 1. The major axis has length 22 units. We divide 22 by 2 to find the value of a. So a is 11 units. We already have the values of a and c. a equals 11 and c equals 9. To solve for b squared, we will use the equation b squared equals a squared minus c squared. We have b squared equals 40. Finally, we have the equation of the ellipse. The square of the quantity x minus 2 over 40 plus the square of the quantity y minus 4 over 121 equals 1. If the standard equation of the ellipse is transformed by expanding the parentheses and collecting terms with integral coefficients, then we are transforming the standard equation to general form. Example the standard form the square of the quantity x minus 2 over 40 plus the square of the quantity y minus 4 over 121 equals 1. We transform the equation with integral coefficients by multiplying the equation with the LCD 40 and 121. We arrive with the equation 121x squared plus 40y squared minus 484x minus 320y minus 3716 equals 0. This is the general form of the ellipse transformed from the given standard form. ax squared plus cy squared plus dx plus ey plus f equals 0 is the general form of the equation of an ellipse. Take note that the coefficients of a and c are positive and unequal. For practice and to explore solving problems on ellipse, we have three problems. If you have answers to the problems and queries, just comment below and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.